Raul Bet, Ty Clues, like, hey, tag salvation on to you all. Um, so today we're about to drop a video. I'm gonna go to my brother's house in a second. I get my bag ready, get my meals ready, cause we're gonna be in there for a little bit. We're gonna practice some cold calls, but more importantly, I'm gonna talk to you guys about something that I think everybody should know. I think my brother will drop some good information on it. So I'm gonna do some get in my car, smash over there so we can get to the office and talk, talk that crazy talk to y'all. So stay tuned. <laughs> Yo, Tuck Clues like, hey, Tag, what you over here doing? Making that money, man. Making that money. Making that money. We're going to talk to people today? Talking to everyone. We're going to talk. Hey, finish your, finish, finish your work. Uh, so what's going to happen right now is, like I said in the video, we're going to go over some cold calls prepping me for my uh, my next job I'm going to be taking. Because he the man with the plan. Making all this money. Uh, so he's going to teach me the way so I can get this money as well so I can do more for others. So with that being said, um, we're going we're gonna to cook for a second. You know what I mean? Then I'm gonna, uh, we'll get to the actual main topic in a second. Uh, talk to us like, hey, tag, salvation home to y'all. I know the suit here, a black guy like a crack addict. Let's talk about it. And you got Steven Jersey, number one cold call on planet Earth. Hey, you want to lead it? Nah, go ahead, man. All right, get cool. it going, man. All right, so here's the thing. So this video, we're, we're going to just pretty much discuss, like, when people are going into relationships, when people are going into just anything they want to learn, they are coming in with the wrong idea. Before, before they off the rip, off, they're going off in the wrong direction. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. So the thing is, like, I might, one of the things my teacher told me a while back when I was a disciple, he was like, when you enter this room, empty your cup. And at the time, I knew he was talking about, but when it comes with wisdom, wisdom takes time. Wisdom takes ability, uh, 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 ability to apply what you learn. Experience. Experience. Yeah. So, and now, and after, you know, over a year plus that, you know, that I, the, that quote stuck in my head, I finally understand what he's saying. So, I, we're going to go through a few scenarios. I want, you, I want you guys to be mindful, like, where you should definitely empty your cup so you can take all the information you can. So, before we get yeah. into the scenarios, Talk to give us a definition of it. Of the, the definition of the quote. Oh, so the definition of the quote is this. I think I just said it, but I'll break it down a little more. So when uh, uh, the definition is when I say empty your cup, that means when you're going into an environment where you where you're want to where you want to learn, it's best that you remove all the information you have before, based off the fact that when somebody is going to teach you something, it's going to conflict with what you think you know. Generally speaking, you don't even know exactly what it is. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could personally think about so many things you thought you knew based off of what your parents taught you, what your teachers taught you, but upon doing your own personal research, you realize that that stuff's not true. So. So before you and I have this conversation on what is right, what is wrong, empty your cup so we can have a better dialogue once I give you that explanation of how to do whatever you're trying to do. See what I'm saying? Exactly. exactly. So, uh, you want to go first with the scenario you go in there? Yeah, so I give you guys, uh, I give you guys a scenario. Coming in with your, with your cup empty, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, my brother in the suit here, you know, I'm teaching him how to cold call. Now, he all he already is you know, relatively good at speaking to people. You know what I mean? We've been we've been going we've been to malls. We've, we've, hey, we've been in the game for a while. We've been going to malls for years. Back you know what I'm saying? Days. Talking to girls and whatnot. Yeah. So he already has the ability to talk, but to engage someone in a business aspect is, is a bit different. So although that's, it sounds good to the average person, I know what it takes to make a sale or to get an appointment from someone you do not know anything about. Exactly. And these particular scenarios, so we're role playing sell scenarios and I'm cutting them off. I'm like, hey, no, no, don't do it like that. Do it like this. I know it sounds, it sounds there was too much talking. Hey, don't ask the person how they're doing. Don't do that. No one cares about that stuff. Mm -hmm. And he, he listens and then we, we pretty much go at it a different way after, you know, I critique. Yeah, because the thing is, there's, there's a transition for a purpose, for a reason, you know what I mean? Like, like you have to make the adjustment based on the fact that what you know doesn't necessarily apply to exactly what's going on right now because if that was the case, you wouldn't be asking that person for help in the first place. Yeah. So, like example, another example would be this, as a personal trainer, like, oh my God, you guys are the problem, by the way. Social media is just destroying personal trainers left and right. And I'm telling you, what I mean by that is this, a uh, client will come up to me and say, hey, I heard about you, I like what you do, I, I heard great things things I want to reach a specific goal and I'm like all right cool with that being said here's the steps you need to take and then all of a sudden they say oh I heard this or hey I done I this happened before and that happened blah blah I'm like yo like if if, if, if whatever you're saying was what it is you wouldn't look the way you do now you know what I mean or you wouldn't be in front why of you come to me hey, why are you coming why to, come to me so what I want you to do is block out with uh, what you think you know and just listen to me and I'll show you what needs to be done and from there as, a, as again we're teams we can adjust based off of you nothing saying that but don't talk to me as if you know what you're talking about because that's the case you wouldn't be here um uh, we said this before, but it's a story that we have to harp on a lot. You know what I mean? So we just went over, you know, when it comes 
comes to making money, uh, like the tools I'm gonna need to make money, and I went over scenario in my personal, uh, I want you to tell the story that we told a thousand and one times, tell the story on the Book of Babylon, where the gentleman uh, was asked for help from the richest man, and then dude was like, no, I don't want to hear, I don't want, I don't want to hear, that's what I'm talking about. You talking about the, the budget portion? Yeah, when dude was like, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the robes and jacuzzi okay, and everything. Okay, okay, so yeah, make, yeah, yeah. make it quick, we talk about it already, but just give them a little, you okay, know. Okay, so in the Rich Man of Babylon, highly recommended book, you should definitely go read it, but I'm going to sum up a particular portion of the book that Nasu wants me to speak about. So there's a portion where the Rich Man of Babylon, um, he was giving advice to about 10 or 11 men, and at one point, the Rich Man of Babylon said, hey, you have to create a budget and dude was like budget why would i create a budget like i'm, I'm trying to get i'm trying to get bitches i'm trying to get robes i'm, I'm trying, trying to get jewelry. i'm trying to get iced out yeah, with the homies you know what i'm saying so he's trying to get nice with it and then um he's like that that'll make me like a like a like an ass or a jackass or a donkey mm -hmm. a donkey um you know just um just walking up a hill or whatever with a budget on my back when i'm supposed to live life and be mm -hmm. free and things like that and then the rich man at Babylon was like, "Oh, really? Well, Get let me ask you this." He's like, "He's like, yo, <laughs> he's like, um, well, with the with the pony, if he, if what who he said, who be making your budget?" Mm. And then he was like, "Well, he was like, well, I would, of course." He was like, "Well, when you have an ass and you're and you're walking up the hill, do you put does the ass want the quilt and the blanket and the hay <laughs> on top of it?" No, it doesn't. So you're creating your own budget. And this is so you can build a better life for yourself and your family in the future. Exactly. So the problem is he he already came an idea where he wanted to live this life. You know what yeah. I mean? He was trying to get all the all all the bitches. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And the thing is great, nothing wrong with you wanted these things, but the problem is like you're going to the, you came he came to this man for advice on how to make a situation better. You cannot accept the reality that you, what your situation you're in right now is not working for you for what you want to achieve. Yeah. Empty your cup where you can fill it up with the right knowledge, the right information to get you to where you want to go. Um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta. In order to, be, in order to get something different, you gotta become something different. Kill you, that thing. You, yeah, you can't walk in there with the same dirty, nasty, stinking water, yeah. you know, and expecting, expecting to be rinsed clean with your same crappy habits. Yo, know, you went to that person for a reason. If you're not willing to listen, don't go to them. Don't ask for advice, and accept your dirty glass of water. Boom. Uh, last one. Uh, people that go into relationships, a lot of times, is your most people are carrying a specific amount of baggage before they get when they get to the next relationship. And then what happens when you carry this baggage? That's why in our culture we make it very important that when a woman uh, and a man decides to uh, when they separate, you have to give yourself four to six months before you jump back in the game. Based on the fact that you wanna you wanna clear all negative things, you wanna start fresh when you get to the next one. But what tends to happen in the people is they 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 break up and go to the next person and that whatever whatever uh, uh, anger you had towards the other person it tends to get dragged on to the next person that you're with so the thing is empty your cut before you even start something so you can reap all benefits mm. I think I covered everything I need to anything you want to say before I cut, it, cut loose nah man I'm good with good video perfect okay with that being said uh, salvation on to y'all talk to you I attack well I do we out Peace. can't stop good